think one of the other things that you've done so well in your career is to bring together the two aspects of making change on gender issues, the technocratic aspects, you know, what are some policy changes and public-private partnerships, and also the political act, because in the end, a lot of this is political. It's, you know, changing our culture, changing the way we look at these big picture issues. Do we in the development community get that balance right? Uh, do we focus too much on the technocratic and forget that in societies there has to be a public conversation, or do, we, do you think we've made progress there? You know, Raj, I haven't thought about that, but you are so right, because when you immediately uh, hear what you've said, as I just have, yeah. uh, I think of how important persuasion is. Uh, you know, over the years it's been more and more difficult to sustain the development budget, as small as it is. Uh, when it does so much good and matters so much for this country and for the people who are served uh, globally. But we have to make that persuasive case. Right. Uh, and I think that's why what I said about not just the right thing to do, but the smart strategic mm -hmm. thing to do is part of that. It's not been easy, frankly, uh, persuading some of the top decision makers that they ought to invest in women and girls. That's a marginal issue. It's a nice thing to do, but hey, I'm going to work on the things that really matter. Right. Uh, this doesn't really matter in some ways, they would say. Mm -hmm. Or if they would not articulate that, they would certainly you think act that way. that in the back of their minds. But if you can go in with the data case, for example, mm -hmm. it changes the whole conversation. Right. I've been in conversations with leaders who uh, were I to say to you, Mr. President, I want to talk to you about um, women's rights, which I would do. But they might look at me and say, well, I've got five minutes. <laughs> I've got a young woman on our staff. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk sure. to you. But if I say, Mr. President, I want to talk to you about how you can grow your economy. I want to talk to you about how you can uh, gain jobs in, in, your, uh, in your growth portfolio all of a sudden the conversation's different. Right. But it's about women's rights. Yeah. And it's about their right to economic participation. But it's being much more strategic in how we make that case. Because in the end, I hate to say it, but mm -hmm. it is true, we all listen to what is in our self-interest yeah. more than anything else. Sure. And I think we've got to make the case as to why global development is in everybody's self-interest.